Just a few months after the general elections, the Electoral Commission, the body mandated to organize and conduct regular free and fair elections in the country, are diving deep into the preparations of the local council elections. <laughs> The chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Justice Simon Biabakama, made this revelation today at the East Warehouse in Banda during a vehicle handover ceremony. The Electoral Commission says the village leaders have a term of five years, which is set to expire in 2023, having been voted into power in 2018. As a commission, therefore, we are already in the process of starting preparations for those elections. Remember, for LOC1, LOC2 elections, the constituency is the village. Every village is a constituency on its own. And therefore, we have to conduct elections in all, and all, every village is a constituency and also a polling station. So elections have to be, take place in all the 70,000. So the earlier we start, the better. On the issue of organizing by elections for members of parliament who lost election petitions, the chairperson electoral commission, Justice Simon Bayabakama, reveals they await confirmation from parliament before they organize any by election. <laughs> Since this is the first trial court, the trial court, and we, the person who has been, uh, who has, who has been, whose victory has been annulled or cancelled, has a right of appeal. Let us wait and see whether these people will appeal or not, and that's when we can decide when whether we are go, how many by elections we are going to have. So for now, you cannot say that. As far as the electoral commission is concerned, it is only Kayunga LC5 position that has fallen vacant following the death of the duly elected leader and preparations to fill the position are already underway. And the law says we must, if for chairperson LC5, we have to hold a by-election within six months after receiving notification of the death of the chairperson. The others where nominations not take place for one reason or another. The others where we had some, a few errors in the ballot papers where the printers uh, mismatched the names and, 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 and the photos. So all these things required us to uh, to conduct these by elections in a time so that these, uh, these areas have political leadership, have representation. Today, the Electoral Commission chairperson handed over 132 vehicles and 21 motorcycles to district and regional election officers. The leaders were also cautioned against mismanagement. We have issued very stringent guidelines on the use of these vehicles. This business of using vehicles, these are government vehicles, use them as you, as you want out. We have warned our drivers that any driver who mishandles this vehicle may as well see his exit from the commission. The vehicles will help in the ease of movement of election officers and electro materials during elections. Ramson Muhire, CTVPM edition.